Hello. After the very cold start to winter we've had across parts of Scandinavia and Northern Europe, things are turning much milder now. In fact, milder air spilling in across much of Central and Western Europe. We've had uh, some stormy conditions in the Central Mediterranean affecting parts of Italy with some heavy showers. Croatia too. Now that system's still with us on Monday but just pushing a little bit further eastwards through Greece and Turkey, still affecting the likes of Ukraine and Romania too. Meanwhile, we've got largely dry conditions holding on for Cyprus with temperatures in Nicosia of 23 degrees. But you can see the scattered showers across parts of Turkey, Greece, some pretty heavy snowfall over the mountains. And for Croatia and through the Adriatic, windy conditions holding on over the next few days. Quieter for Portugal and Spain, looking largely dry and settled here. Mild air working in across France, Germany and much of the UK too. We could have some mist milder than it has been across Norway, Sweden and Finland as well. So not much change into Tuesday. High pressure holding on for many central areas, keeping things dry and reasonably mild. We've still got that area of low pressure, bringing that unsettled and showery weather to parts of Greece, the Balkans and Turkey as well. So London and Paris are pretty mild over the next few days, but a hint that things turn a little bit colder towards the end of the week. Plenty of sunny skies for Madrid and for Rome too in the forecast. A chilly few days ahead in Moscow with some snow showers and showers should clear from Athens by Wednesday. Bye bye. Hello, let's take a look at the forecast across Africa and the Middle East too. And for much of North Africa, the weather's looking quite dry and settled at the moment. We've got low pressure in the Mediterranean though, and that's going to be drawing in quite cool north or northwesterly winds. So temperatures for the likes of Algeria, Tunisia, and Libya, a little bit colder than we'd expect for this time of year. Meanwhile, further south across Africa, pretty warm through the central belt with some scattered showers. But for South Africa, some heavy downpours in the forecast, particularly towards the south and the east. Some of them also affecting the likes of Mozambique and Botswana as well. So there could be some localised flooding with some of those quite heavy showers and thunderstorms too. So Cape Town and Johannesburg both seeing a few of those heavy downpours at times. They should be easing later in the week and it should be staying largely dry for Dakar with some sunshine. Sunshine in the forecast for Khartoum with temperatures in the low to mid 30s. Some heavy showers into Kinshasa later in the week. Now across the Middle East then, things are looking largely dry and settled. We've got a northwesterly, just gentle Shamal winds blowing during Monday. Temperatures a little on the cool side, in fact, for the time of year across central Saudi Arabia, down towards Oman and Yemen as well. But a lot of sunshine and light winds for most areas too. Could be some showers moving in towards the Levant later in the week, just slowly making their way south eastward. So it's a dry outlook for Muscat, Dubai and Riyadh, but we could see some showers into Kuwait by Friday. Bye-bye. Hello. The forecast for Mexico, Central America and the Caribbean coming up shortly. But first off, we're heading to South America, where from the satellite image you can see the areas we've had shower cloud over recent days. We're going to be seeing this area here developing, pushing northwards, so some outbreaks of rain affecting the far south of Brazil towards Bolivia, Paraguay as well. And to the north of that, plenty of heavy showers too. Further south, some dry weather for much of Chile and for Argentina as well. But let's start off across the Amazon basin because you can see the green colours here showing some fairly heavy showers, particularly further south towards Paraguay and Bolivia as well. And one or two showers as we head further south into Uruguay and Argentina. Temperatures not quite as high as they have been. In fact, it's been very warm recently for central Argentina and central Chile, but those temperatures are going to be coming down by a few degrees during the course of this coming week. So here's the outlook for Rio de Janeiro. We're going to be continuing to see some showers over the next few days, looking a little bit drier through the middle of the week. Should be largely dry too for Buenos Aires. Now on to Mexico. A few showers around the Bay of Campeche on Sunday, mostly dry across northern parts of the Yucatan Peninsula. But we're seeing a few showers for Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala too. Generally the Caribbean looking predominantly dry, just a few light afternoon showers bubbling up on Sunday. So it is looking largely dry and settled for Havana, but there could well be some heavier showers through the end of this coming week. Bye bye. Hello there. The deadly tornadoes which swept across six states, bringing a swathe of devastation and significant loss of life are now clearing away towards the east. So some quieter weather across many central and eastern states. Here is that active weather front that brought all those severe storms and tornadoes. Gradually by Sunday, it'll be pushing out into the Atlantic. So higher pressure building here in the east, whereas further west across the United States and western Canada, we're going to be seeing low pressure dominating the weather. So some very unsettled and fairly cool weather here towards the west. Cool weather still holding on across parts of Texas before things warm up 
later in the week as well. Let's start off with British Columbia. Plenty of heavy snowfall packing in here. Some windy conditions too as we head down towards Washington State, Oregon and into California. So significant snowfall across the Sierra Nevada, the Cascades, up towards the northern Rockies. Several feet of fresh snow over the next few days. It is looking pretty unsettled towards the west and rather cool too with rain reaching Los Angeles by the time we get to Tuesday. A different story is that high pressure holds on further east across the Great Lakes up towards Montreal and New York. It's looking dry and settled, some sunshine down the west coast. Still quite chilly at the moment across the Texas Panhandle, for instance, but temperatures are going to be on the up with some warm weather in the forecast through much of this week. So it is looking generally dry and settled for many of our cities towards the east. Bye for now. Hello. Let's take a look at the weather now for South and Central Asia. And things are turning a fairly cool for the time of year across parts of Central Asia into Pakistan and the north of India as well. So some cooler air working in here. Could be some fog patches around over the next few days as well. Further south across India, it's been largely dry and settled as we would expect for this time of year. But we've still got these northeasterly winds from the Bay of Bengal driving some showers towards parts of Andhra Pradesh, down towards Kerala, Tamil Nadu as well. And for Sri Lanka, we're seeing plenty of heavy showers over the next couple of days, perhaps some thunderstorms affecting Colombo at times. Heading our way further northwest now into Central Asia and that really cold air is piling in. So temperatures in Nur Sultan just minus 14 degrees at their warmest and pretty chilly conditions across parts of Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan to northern Afghanistan as well. Pakistan will see some cooler air in the north, but still 29 Celsius in the sunshine for Karachi. Stride down the west coast of India, we've got a few showers affecting Mali at times. You can see the green colours, so some heavier bursts towards Sri Lanka. It's looking dry though, we're up towards Odisha, West Bengal and across Bangladesh too. Here's the outlook, it's a dry one for Mumbai, Dhaka and Islamabad as well. But for Colombo, we're going to continue to see one or two showers, perhaps the odd thunderstorm at times over the next five days or so. Tashkent turning a little less cold over the next few days. Plenty of sunshine for Karachi. Bye-bye. Hello. The week ahead will bring some high temperatures across Australia. We're expecting heat wave conditions to develop in the north. We'll take a look at Australia in just a moment. A bit further north though, you can see on the satellite image this area of cloud here with the potential to form into a tropical cyclone later in the week. That could well move close to the Philippines. We'll keep a close eye on that. Further north, higher pressure is starting to build across Japan, the Korean Peninsula and northeast China. So still quite wintry for Japan with some snow showers for parts of Hokkaido, but the weather turning milder and drier here towards the north. Heading our way further south, temperatures in Hong Kong on the cool side still, but warming up over the next few days. A few scattered showers around the coast of Vietnam, Cambodia seeing some of those downpours and across Indonesia, the rain will be quite heavy at times. Here's the outlook then, and you can see those temperatures will be on the up for Osaka, Beijing, also for Seoul too, Bangkok looking dry over the next five days or so. Now on to Australia, one or two showers around for parts of South Australia, perhaps drifting towards Victoria. But it's further north that those temperatures will be on the rise for the likes of Kimberley in Western Australia, all the way up towards the top end and Queensland, we're set to see some very hot weather developing. Meanwhile, for the North Island of New Zealand, we've got heavy rain moving in. Could be some flooding close to the Bay of Plenty, for instance. Sydney will see a bit of rain arriving by Thursday and some pretty wet weather on the cards for Wellington. Bye-bye.